Installing the latest in innovation in the Bonaire range of evaporative air conditioning, the Bonaire Pinnacle Solar. This video shows installing the optional solar kit. To install the Bonaire Pinnacle Solar, you will need the parts as shown. Please ensure you have all the parts provided and are ready to go. All Pinnacle Solar units come with pre-marked indentations. Four for each corner rods and one for the micro inverter cabling. Please be careful to drill through the lid only and not to damage the water distribution tray. We recommend you do this at ground level. Remove the four louvers. Then remove the four screws holding the lid to the corner post. Install the rods through the pre-drilled holes in the distribution tray and through your drilled hole in the lid. Install all four rods in each corner before reinstalling the corner screws. Refit the internal screw into each corner. Please do not over tighten. Remove the two bottom corner screws. Line up the triangular base and refit the corner screws. Again, please be careful not to over tighten. Fasten the L foot to the chosen low side rail and tighten 35mm from the end. This will be fitted to the low side support rod. Fit the L foot to be connected to the high side rail loosely to allow for later adjustment. Place the four washers over each corner rod. Fit a spring washer and nut to the high side corner rods. Fit the second nut and washer 35mm down the thread. Repeat on the second high side. Fit the low side L foot to low corner rod and then the high side L foot to the rod, which has been left loose. You can now tighten accordingly. Fit a flat washer, spring washer and nut to the low side and tighten. Fit a flat washer, spring washer and nut to the high side and tighten accordingly. Fit the micro inverter rail Near, near the loom penetration, halfway along the rail, and feed the micro inverter loom and earth wire through the pre drilled 24mm hole. To access the control board, loosen the encapsulated screw. Lower the new flip down door to 90 degrees and slide right to remove. Fit the solar PC board in the left hand side of the main board and secure with the four 6mm screws supplied. Fit the connecting harness from the solar PC board to the main board. Plug in the inverter harness to the solar board 
and bring through the harness slot. Reinstall the board as per removal, ensuring the board is at 90 degrees from vertical. Replace the encapsulated screw. We recommend that you do not lift the unit by the solar panel rails. You're now ready to fit the solar panel to the two support rails. It is crucial that the solar panel is not damaged in any way. Fit four solar panel clamps and secure the support rail. Connect the solar panel electrical connection to the micro inverter connections. These can only be installed one way. When connecting the micro inverter electrical connection, line up the arrows from each side and fit snugly to the control box wiring harness. Ensure the earth wire is securely fastened to the solar panel frame using the serrated washer. Cut off the three pin plug connection and connect to the inline junction box supplied. Secure to the corner post with P clips supplied and complete wiring as per Australian standard requirements. Add the supplied labels to appropriate locations as per ANZ 5033 requirements. Check all corner posts and connections are secure. Refit the louvers to the chassis and make sure that all Navigate thermostats are solar enabled.